Okay, it's been a few months. Let's talk about the service I was forced to pay for. That's it. That's my intro. Hi, I'm Amanda, you're watching Swell Entertainment, and today we are talking about Twitter Blue, the service from Twitter, a website that I previously used for free that I had to pay for because I was hacked. I was hacked because Twitter got rid of two-factor authentication and moved it to a Twitter Blue feature. So in order to log into Twitter, I also had to confirm using a code via text message. They got rid of that if you weren't Twitter Blue. And everyone said, use an authenticator app. The problem is, is that I kept getting error messages from Twitter whenever I did that. I tried three separate authenticator apps, one of which was like the actual iPhone authenticator thing. And I would always get the error message from Twitter, not from these apps. These apps were doing fine. The Twitter integration side of things was saying, go fluff yourself. It's too early to swear. F, fluff, what, what did I say? Do you like listening to my videos as a podcast? Well, now you actually can because we are officially on Spotify. They will actually be available on Spotify the day after they are posted here on YouTube. The link will be in the description box. Once I was hacked, I immediately paid for Twitter Blue. So let's talk about Twitter Blue because I've had it long enough and I think I can thoroughly give a thorough review on how I feel about it. Also, I'm wearing blue for Twitter Blue, obviously. So April 8th is when I finally regained access to my Twitter account after being locked out for almost exactly 10 days. And I paid just for the yearly subscription for Twitter Blue, which was $84 for the year from April 9th to April 9th, 2024. Paying for it is one thing as well because I do use Twitter in my business, so I can use that as a write-off as well. And now I'm doing a review on it, so it, were covered. I wasn't happy about it, but I really wanted the two-factor authentication. It's the easiest way to avoid hacking and all of that. So that's the main reason I got it. We're now into June. So I've had this for a few months now and I wanna talk about Twitter Blue. So I was not immediately uh, verified. It took about three to four days for me to get my first initial blue check next to my name. Now, this was when all of the people's blue checks were disappearing. And so I was like, this is cringy, but I was also going to Creator Clash. I changed my name from Amanda to Amanda at Creator Clash. It was verified after two days of me being at Creator Clash. Creator Clash is one day, but like I was there for a few days. And then I went to Orlando and went to Walt Disney World. So while your name is being verified, while your identity is being verified, you cannot change your name again. So it was verified and I got the blue check. And then it was changed again to while I was going to Walt Disney World, not because I wanted to get rid of the blue check again, but because I always like doing that on Twitter. It's a fun little thing. Then in that way, no one's like, hey, so I'll go to this thing because they know I'm already at something else. It's just a fun little thing that I like to do and I get to do. So I changed it to at Walt Disney World and it took about nine days <laughs> for it to go back to being a check marked. So I had been home from Orlando for five days before the verification came through. And I changed it back to Amanda and I was verified within a day or two, I think. It was a very, very short amount of time to be verified again. In this time as well, I was interviewed briefly by TechCrunch over DMs. They were asking me about it because there was a, quite a few people who were talking about Twitter Blue and all that because this is when the Block the Blue <laughs> for blocking Twitter Blue users was going around. And if you saw a Twitter Blue user, people were just blocking them on site because again, once they got rid of all of the verification for the legacy verifieds, that takes away the the value of the blue check because now you know for a fact people are paying for it. it's stupid it was so pointless i don't know why elon thought that would work and then he started gifting it to people and originally didn't tell people that he was gifting it to people so he was basically making people look like they had paid for twitter blue and they had not and some people were like we're gonna sue you so he had to announce that he was gifting a, a verified yeah so now when you tap the blue check on my account it just says this account is verified and that's across the board not twitter blue not anything else just that i'm verified a couple of other content creators have started playing for twitter blue as well well, whether before me or after me and all of that, uh, because they wanted the verification. Some of the things that they talk about that have like, what's the, the bonus of having it is obviously verified. When you like a tweet and things like that, if the account is verified, it kind of heightens the notification. Like I actually get a notification if someone with a verified account likes my tweet whether they are a legacy verified or a Twitter blue user. Sometimes I go and check, but then if I notice that they have very little followers or they have a fairly recent account, I just don't even think about it. I don't even engage further. And I know, trust me, I, I fully admit it. I thought Twitter blue gave me the ick, still does. I don't like that I have Twitter blue. I wish that he would roll out the ability to turn off the blue check because that was something that he floated out briefly. It, he is Elon. Um, 
muskrat. They knew that it was going to basically be turning a target on people's back once they got rid of all the legacy verified. But then he rolled back out the legacy verified or gifted legacy verified for accounts over a thousand, over a million. It just doesn't really make sense. Um, but I kind of want to still turn it off because I'm just not verified. It's not a big deal. I don't really get, no one's being like, oh, you pay for, for your blue. I'm not getting that or anything like that. I want to make that abundantly clear. And I haven't noticed a shockingly number of like people blocking me or anything like that. You know, I'm just annoying on Twitter. I'm going to get blocked for a variety of reasons, not just having Twitter blue. One thing that I was able to update that I thought was kind of fun. I was able to personalize the Twitter icon. Instead of blue, it's purple. I made it purple. Premium Snapchat, you also can do that as well. So premium Snapchat, also purple. I just like purple. In the app itself, like the highlighted, instead of highlighting things blue, I was able to highlight it purple. So all my little like show this thread, things like that, that's in purple. Just little physical things that I was able to update. Blue looks good on you. Enjoy your verified account and blue check mark. A better news reading experience. Early access to select new features, extras, active. So a better news reading experience. Um, basically I can have, you can personalize the app more. So top articles for you. And it basically just makes a for you news page, which I guess is kind of nice for someone like me. I haven't really used this functionality whatsoever just because I let my feed kind of tell me what's going on. But I mean, if I just solely wanted to go off of the app for um, news sources and things like that, this would be good. The For You page on Twitter sucks. I don't know if you guys know this. I see a couple of tweets from people I know and then just like horrific, sh just bad, weird. I don't like it. I don't like it. At least TikTok, it's intuitive and it eventually learns what I do and don't like. And then it just randomly shows me random stupid stuff or really hyper-religious stuff. I was looking into, I think it was the Mormon mom talk, the Mormon swingers group. That was a bunch of moms in uh, Utah and stuff. I think that's what made it. So I started getting a ton of religious videos because now I just randomly get videos where it's like, the Lord came to me and I was like, oh, seek help, call the police. I don't know. Like <laughs> early access to select new features. So longer tweets. Um, I can create tweets, replies and quotes up to 4,000 characters long edit the tweets up to five times in 30 minutes. I'm not sure when they changed it, but it's since been changed from 30 minutes to 60 minutes to make edits. I only ever do it once and it's usually for a typo. Um, that's typically when I use it. It's like, I realize later, but I never really realize in the moment. I realize 30 minutes later. So sometimes I don't even realize it in time. Upload longer videos. I don't want to upload videos to Twitter. S side note, um, every time I have uploaded a, a video to Twitter, it's done incredibly well but there's nothing that comes from it. Like it's very hard to monetize video content on Twitter in a way that justifies the absolute f load of people that are gonna discover that video. It's just not worth it. It's not worth the vitriol. I like Twitter for a variety of reasons. The video responses, I'm not a fan of. 1080p videos, NFT profile pictures. I don't own any NFTs because I think that they're currently stupid. Bookmark folders. I do like having bookmark folders. Um, that's something that you have on TikTok, a, a free functionality on TikTok. But being able to organize tweets as like just read laters slash video receipts, things like that. Like for me, it's very helpful as a content creator who sometimes gets content from Twitter. Undo tweet, that is nice. I will say, because sometimes you start typing something and you hit send and then you're like, wait, that's fucking stupid. So you hit undo. That is nice. Nothing bad. It's just like, do I need to say this? Am I adding to a conversation or am I being a dickhead? It's like a personal little check moment. So I do like the undo tweet. Also, if I see a typo, I can fix it before. I probably use undo tweet more than I use the edit function. The undo tweet is very nice. I do like that, honestly. The only thing I really added was adding my profile in the corner down here for the custom navigation. I tried a couple of other things. I just preferred custom navigation. Theme, you could do blue, yellow, red, purple, orange, or green. I did purple. And then app icons, there's only so many. I thought they had a rainbow one. Did they not have a rainbow one? It's pride month, Elon. Update your shit. All right, negatives of Twitter blue. Uh, so I asked my friend Renazuo, he's been on the podcast before. Um, he is an artist. So Renazuo mentioned that he was losing followers every day for the past week at one point, this is in May. And then he was also getting spam every day for the last week and blocking set accounts. I wonder if these accounts are the same accounts. I noticed also the amount of spam and bot accounts that were interacting with me and reaching out to me quadrupled. Like it, it I would maybe get one, once or every two weeks. I now get three or four bots or spam accounts in my DMs 
every single day on Twitter. I assume it's because of Twitter Blue because there's no other change on my account other than previously mentioning that I've been hacked. That's the only other thing I can think of. And they're all usually the same. They're like, hello, I am 30. I am single too. Do you want to have hot sex with me? Come have hot sex with me. And then it's like a dude's face, but it's like a woman saying that it's a woman or something. You know, they're all in their 30s. You know, the only age ever, your 30s. So before I sat down to film this, I messaged Ren again and I said, hey, I'm about to film my video on Twitter Blue. Is there any extra things you want to add? Now to keep in mind, um, Ren is an art page and he does NSFW art. So obviously there are certain limitations attached to his account that aren't on mine where I'm just insane. He said, yeah, one thing I noticed recently is that some of the classic things that throttle engagement still apply even with blue. So I've done posts where I provide a link to Patreon in the replies and some with the link in the original tweet. Original tweet always gets throttled. It doesn't matter how many people I get to recreate it to. It's every time. Spam continues to increase that much you knew. Replies get noticed much easier than original tweets, especially because replies get promoted to near the top of the tweets. Also, supposedly Elon recently announced that people with blue can get paid for ads in their replies, though the details were very vague, I'm skeptical. The way that Twitter is making money right now is one, stabbing people in the side and demanding that they, you know, pay for Twitter blue, but also they are running a ton of ads, not just on the For You and your following page, but also in the replies of tweets. So say you're scrolling through a reply and suddenly you'll get an ad for discovery.com or whatever the fuck. Basically they said at one point that if you're on Twitter blue, you will be able to make a percentage or get paid for your viral tweets or what have you with those ads in your replies for your tweets. I have no idea if that's coming or not or what the deal is. The only thing I currently have access to for monetization on Twitter Blue is subscriptions. I do Patreon, I do not do memberships, I do not do Twitter subscriptions. It's something that maybe I could do in the future, but at this point I just don't really want to. I need more people to have done it to talk about the breakdown of the monetization and things like that. Can I change the time summary? Because overall my followers have gone up since, but, um, my tweet impressions have gone down. Still quite a few, but nothing, you know, insane. April, new followers, 1.4K. New followers in May, 205. And then June is still ticking down, obviously. New followers at this point, 101. Sorry, I saw a tweet and I was like, did I say something that upset someone? But they were defending me, so it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. <laughs> There's not a ton here that I really think is worth the cost for the year. As far as a content creator goes, it kind of goes back and forth. If you're someone who does a lot of tweets for information purposes, for video purposes, things like that, obviously the undo feature and the edit feature is very helpful for you, especially for me when I post out like, hey, I'm doing this video, new video out, that type of thing. If there's a typo in that, I wanna fix that because that helps the engagement for the actual video itself on YouTube. One thing that is incredibly fucking annoying, um, the 30 seconds to send the tweet thing, cause it has the undo tweet feature. So it takes a little bit to send the tweet. Um, if you close your app, turn your phone off, like clock it, close your computer or exit out. Um, it just won't send that. It won't finish that time zone. Sometimes I just want to tweet and move my phone away. I don't want to worry about that. I don't want to worry about holding my phone open while that sends. That's just annoying. That just seems like a, a functionality issue that could be fixed, hopefully. I'm going to continue to have it for the year. Obviously, I paid for the year and I need the two-factor authentication. Um, that does work, by the way. Um, in order to sign up for Twitter Blue, you have to turn on two-factor authentication. They need your phone number to verify Twitter Blue. For myself, it makes sense. I don't Love it. Again, the undo function is nice, but that's just because I sometimes need to <laughs> rein myself in just a little bit and be like, mm, do I need to say this? The answer is often, sometimes, no. The spam bots, oh my God, Elon, figure it out. The whole point was to figure out the spam bots, I thought, oh, this is gonna stop with the spam. All I get is spam comments now and, and DMs. I block them on site, but they're flipping annoying. Do you have Twitter blue? Do you like Twitter blue? Do you like Elon Musk and you hate when I talk shit on him? Let me know, comment down below. Reminder, I have a podcast, The Swell Shans Podcast. Reminder, I have merch. Don't know if there'll be a design for this video. Maybe I'll figure it out. To my patrons, thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon. I'll also explore my own Patreon, leave this down below. I explain my name with social media. It'll be up here, including my Twitter. <laughs> and that's gonna be it. Have a lovely day. Goodbye. Sweet, I tried it so you don't have to.
Thank you, Andrew, Allen, Awful, BJ, Cameron, Christopher, Chris, Crispy, Crispy, Crash, PC, China, Dirty One, Don, Elliot, Donnie, Evan, Eric, Eyal, Hopeless, Homer, and Good Vito, Isaiah, Joe, John M, Jordan, Joseph, Kenny, Kim, Kristen, Justin, Lamb, Lexus, Louise, May West, Madeline, Matt, Matthew S, Meme Lord, Michael, Michael J, Michael T, Micah, Nathaniel, Pat, Penn, Richard, Philip, Rob, Rosie, Red, Robert, Ross, Ryan, Sam, Serena, Skylar, Simon, Tasha, Timothy, Heavenly Plastic, Tyler, Tenzin, Tom, Thomas, Querty, Victor, Randy, Winter, Wendy, Will, Williams, Andrew's Wing.